Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Let me just delete all this bullshit in here. <clears throat> okay, okay, what's up, what's up, guys? Today we are going to try to forecast Bitcoin's price action. I have not done a video in a few days because I was working on this code. And I'm utilizing RStudio. You can use java or any other programming languages that you would like but personally i like r studio is more user friendly and java and c plus plus is more for developing and not data analysis so anyway first of all you will need to install packages such as forecast and fpp <clears throat> i already have them I'm not going to do this again because it takes quite some time then you just have to unroll those libraries so that's what the Bitcoin's price looks like. I have 420 observations. We're going to convert this into a time series. I'm going to use closing price action. You can use adjusted close as well, but I'm going to use closing. So we have 40, 420 observations, six variables. So let's convert uh, this data into a time series. So that's what the price of the Bitcoin looks like. After we converted this database into a time series, we're going to start from 2010 all the way to the current uh, date. And so first and foremost, I'm going to utilize polynomial trend. Let's see how it's going to look like. And also, and also STL, seasonal trend decomposition, because Bitcoin might be some way a seasonal so that's the polynomial trend as we can see in this graph and that's how the seasonal trend decomposition going to look like so here we have a seasonality we have trend remainder and data it's just a original function data and i also am going to use trend from seasonal trend decomposition so let's just to try to plot this so here we have original function, we have a forecast of Bitcoin. It resembles a 95% prediction confident interval, but it's really not. And let's just do a summary of uh, STL and polynomial function. So here we have a um, polynomial function and STL and actual function. I'm going to utilize the modeling techniques to, and I'm going to apply to each and single one of them to actual function, to SL trend and polynomial trend. And then in the end, I would like to use a, um, a, a back tested and utilize a mean squared error to test what is going to be the most accurate model and which model you can actually trust and not just a bunch of noise that model is going to create. So these are my prediction models. I'm going to use Halt, Halt Winters Neural Networks. Neural Networks utilizes 20 networks at the same time. And Autorima model. Autorima model is autoregression integrated moving average. So it's similar what you can find in any trading um, platforms. Usually you can find it like moving average, but not uh, uh, autoregression integrated moving average. So anyways. Let's get started. When after Rima, it always takes some time to load. And I can tell by the way here because the sign did not appear next to my next function. So we, we will have to wait quite a bit, not quite a bit, maybe, I don't know, a minute, maybe less, when this R Studio will process the model itself. Come on, just hurry up. Hurry the fuck up. Okay, anyways, it's here. So let's load the other one. Let's just plot our models. So that's the polynomial trend, and that's the prediction of the polynomial trend. We have a bunch of models here. Linear model, neural network is this one. It's quite interesting neural network. Neural network is actually very useful in a random high volatility time series. 
because it utilizes random points to forecast the future. Unlike linear model, it usually just utilizes the trend, similar to moving average. So here we have a 95% <clears throat> confident intervals. You can actually see here the actual function, polynomial function. Let me zoom this in. Oh, hold on, I forgot something. That's the current date, basically. Okay, so let's move on. Let's move on to prediction based on SDL, seasonal trend loss. So I'm going to utilize basically the same models and I'm going to apply on different function. Let me run all these functions. Okay, now we have to wait because Arima models is loading. Okay, it's loaded. Nope, it's not loaded. It's still loading. <sighs> okay, it's here. Let's plot this. Okay, it doesn't look very nice because I'm utilizing a trend from this seasonality. That's how it looks like. Does it look very nice? So this is what we have. Let me zoom in. We have a prediction SDL is this one. Not too sure, it looks kind of weird. Uh, neural network looks quite interesting. Then we have, this is actual function. The blue one is a the trend itself. Uh, yellow one is a linear model and so on and on. So now let's move on to actual function itself. It's basically actual function is a function of Bitcoin prices. I'm not I'm not using like trend or anything like that. So let's unroll the models once again. Oh come on, this Arima models always holds me back. God damn it. Okay, now we're good. Let's plot this. This is how it looks. Maybe I should hold on. Give me a sec, let's put here 500. Let's put a thousand. <clears throat> okay, looks quite interesting. As we can see, the neural, nat neural network looks very appealing. Let me zoom in this. It basically resembles the previous trends of the Bitcoin price action. And Arima models also look, I don't know, quite seasonal. So this is the end and in the future, if this video gets maybe, I don't know, 400, 500 likes, I would like to write the code for backtesting. Backtesting is basically I'm going to utilize each and single model that I try to forecast the future. I'm going to the write the reverse code. I'm going to backtest it to the 2010, to when the Bitcoin was born actually, and see which model has the least minimum squared errors. Which which model has the least errors? That's going to be the best predictor model for the future. And if you guys are interested in that. I did not write the code yet, but I'm going to write it if you guys would like to see it. Otherwise, I, I just don't want to waste my time on that. So this is the end. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. Other than that, um, yeah, see you next video. Peace.